What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Tyson, and I'm back. Before we get to it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, make sure you always watch the full video. So now there's been a lot of drama ever since DDG announced that he has separated from Hallie. Now someone leaked a post that allegedly came from DDG's close friends that states, I'm a grown man, I can make my own decisions. We chose to split because of personal reasons. Nah, it's not a skit, I'm not hurt, and I'm not missing out on anything. And her head game is trash as F. As long as my son good, I- Well, again, do you, like, if you watch these vlogs for, for X amount of time, you will see bro don't even talk like that even when even when he was single bro don't talk like that he don't talk like come on bro her head grain is trash everything else all right that part no no bro like this like yes we don't on personally but it's on the outside looking in but again doing his single era when he was filming i've never seen him down talk no female single with them done with, with the relationship or not it, even when uh i ain't gonna say her, I, I ain't gonna say her name but it was a girl i don't say he was beefing with but she was like trying to put him in, in a bad light you know on on youtube still did not down talk her still say hey if you're tired of people because her, her her whole thing was um like she was trying to move on they they film uh like a like a weekend together whatever like a couple videos not a weekend like no not like that but they film a couple videos together or he filmed a couple videos together and then when she tried to when she was ready to move on to her her new relationship when she started posting everything uh her whole conversation was did he this did he that did he this and she she was she was tired of it. she didn't she didn't like it he he made his video. Only thing he said was, if you're tired of people saying my name in your thing, all you got to do is go to your settings and put my name and it will stop. They can no longer comment my name. Bam. He could have easily went up on her. Easily went up. But he didn't. So, but this is me, the mother of his children. It's not Corey. <laughs> it's not Corey. This is not CJ so cool. Bro, it's not for the down talk to bait my like that, dog. I'm good. So DDG did come back and respond with, I don't even use close friends. Stop being weird. Now, not only that, Joe Budden had some things to say about this whole breakup on his podcast that got DDG Ooh, very upset. DDG. <laughs> and, and why am I supposed to care about his thoughts on anything? Oh, I'm very God. happy that they have broken up. So I don't get to keep seeing this name attached to this girl's name when I don't know him for nothing as a standalone. And for me, it's- Like I said on the last video, I, I'm off on the skip passes, but it's on the other videos. You sound like a true hater. And for you to be a, a black man, a older black man, saying that you happy, a young black couple who just had their first kid has broken up. And you like this how you know when you don't have real friends around you who have their own opinion because they're all sitting there they're all black and none, none of them said bro you're doing too much like you ain't got to do all that let's move to the next subject again like i said in, in the last video if you don't want to talk about somebody if you don't care about somebody scroll Scroll. That's why I'm gonna skip because I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of this post, bro. This is so dumb. It's on the other video, y'all. Y'all can go go watch it over there because this nigga is so angry. And speaking on a relationship of people the same age as your son, you ain't taking care of. Hope you forget to take your magnesium pills today, you old b word. Then he makes an Instagram post with Joe Budden's "Pump It Up" and states, "Not gonna lie, this ish ass." And then he adds Joe Budden. Now, people in the comment section of the shade rooms begin to go off on DDG, stating, "Bro lost Hallie and his mind all in one day." Let's not lie. Now, this song was huge and still hits and ddg is True. unhinged he fumbled the little mermaid and now he's saying anything another person states ddg stop it because i rather listen to pump it up 50 times than any of your songs so then ddg goes now you're reaching now you're reaching because if that, if that was true 
that song went went go long, 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 long time ago. Mind you, the song was hard when it dropped. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. But it, hey, it still has its moments. It still has its moments. Certain movies, certain like, uh, like certain uh, especially uh, action movies, it go up. It go, it, it does what needs to be done for sure, for sure. But says you would rather listen to that fifty times, and let, bro. You were reaching, bro. This stick got a lot of tight songs, but hey, that's just my opinion. I want to post a clip of his new single with some girls that he met at the nail salon. Now, again, people in his comment section were. No. Come on, T Roll. This video, your video is well after his, uh, his stream. So you know for a fact what was going on. She said some girls he met. At the this is crazy. This is great. <laughs> Mind you, DDG and up both hosted them getting girls nails done. It was like ten to ten. To, it was probably twenty, but I think it was like less. I think it was like ten of them. But they pay for their nails to get done. And from DDG's uh own account, this is planned before their breakup so yeah but that's crazy like come on t room yo your videos after the stream you know you i'm quite sure you watched it, the uh the thing you're not joe button you do your research come on man like come on <laughs> some girls he met at no he he i mean he did meet them there but he invited them there stating ddg they're getting ready to cancel you because this is out of line someone states yeah he really the type to make you hate in words another person states they finna cancel my dog and you couldn't wait to do this huh so now you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below yeah i ain't gonna lie that was still a bad time even if you did have, have it planned already i probably would have canceled it but then again whether this is a week from now, a week, a month from now, or six months from now, they still would have said you're doing way too much. So I guess it wouldn't have mattered, but that that was crazy though. Hello, now Ruby I Rose was that. on live as well, and she stated that she's back outside and ready to I'm mingle. Outside tonight. I never go outside, so we're going out tonight, and I live in the city. So I hope it's a day tonight. Now, last week I spoke on Crystal, Nooney, and Tony actually not being friends anymore, that they unfollowed each other on Instagram. Well, it's now being alleged that the reason behind the fallout is because Tony was messing around with Crystal's now boyfriend, Ed. If you guys didn't oh. know, Ed and Tony were actually friends before Crystal started dating him. So now Tony went live and she mentioned the situation and also what's up with her and Crystal. Then Crystal went on to Twitter and stated, keep my name out y'all mouths. I don't give a F what the circumstance is. She also states, I'm not the type to have secret animosity. You a hundred percent gonna know what's oh, up Tony, with me. I know you ain't mess with Ed, this and that and a third, some shit like that or whatever. And put this girl on with um Ed something. And then I was like, ain't nobody messed with Ed, stop the cap. And she put another link in the other link was on some page on YouTube called So Real T or Not the Tea Room or whatever the case may be. So I'm going in the club from four years ago. That was one, right? And I was in the club with Ed or whatever, and we was dead. So why when y'all be seeing me with a nigga, y'all try to paint this narrative as if like Tony be wanting people niggas? I don't want people niggas. Like I, the niggas that I be with be my niggas, my little shit, my motherfucking boyfriends i've never once had any sexual relationship with ed i've never talked to him in no relationship way i've never been with this man i've never told this man that i like him this if we was in the club like that and y'all took it that way because nowadays the internet's so sensitive so y'all take anything as being friendly or overly a type of way with somebody so you know what i'm done trying to like play that okay whatever whatever if y'all took it as too touch it is because because a lot of y'all be doing too much and y'all just don't. A lot of people have, uh, like they're just a natural flirt. I'm gonna say that because I I got a uh, I, I dated somebody like that like, and it wouldn't it wasn't gonna work. 
even that, even now, like she's still that same way. So therefore, if if we was to try it, it would still it still wouldn't work because you have a natural flirtatious way. Like she'll you know how them certain people, even though it's just a word, it's just a name, but them younger. <laughs> The young girls, what we call it, everybody, babe or honey or sweetie, like what? What are you? You're not granny. Do not, don't, don't do that. Or like girls who think that, that it's okay to go to the club and dance with dance with dudes while they're in a relationship or they're having a situ a situation shit that's trying to build to a relationship. No, that's disrespectful. Why are you dancing with this dude? Go dance with a girl. Go dance for yourself. Some people don't care, but some people do. A lot of people, especially nowadays. That's all oh, you you can be insecure. No, it's about respect. That's what a lot of y'all like. Respect. That's why a lot of things sound like it's been somebody's being insecure or somebody like especially when people like nowadays like love bombing. I'm love bombing you because I I love you. Okay. Really, whatever y'all took it as that. But I have never, ever, 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 ever had any type of relationships with it. I get y'all wanna know. Are y'all trying to put pieces together as to why what happened between me and certain people? But y'all do not have to paint that narrative. Like, for real. Like, for real, kill that. Kill it. Kill it right there. All right? Kill it. Y'all trying to fish and find? Okay, I get it. Y'all can fish. Y'all can fish. Y'all can fish or whatever. No, because we was in the club. We was vibing. That night, we was vibing. He was there, we what? was there with all my friends, like, real, like, friends vibing? y'all always try to paint that narrative, it's like, I could be on the phone overly laughing with him, I and did. I think y'all forgot I was friends with him, like, what, for four years prior to when they, when they met or whatever, so, yeah, I was cool with him for that long, like, girl, we know you don't gotta explain, I'm not trying to, like, explain myself, but, like, I'm gonna clear that up, because when it comes to this is the problem as ever what I uh I said on my other channel. Uh I said on this channel too before. People gotta understand when it comes to relationships, if somebody is in, in a relationship, relationships come with rules and restrictions. And again, if more people would realize that before getting into a relationship, or just realize it in general, people I think a lot more relationships would last because you know what you're getting into before you step into it. A lot of people get into a relationship and then realize, oh, it has rules, you got restrictions, you got do's and don'ts. Oh my God. No, you been knew this. You been knew this. You should or you should have been new because it's not your first relationship. And not even if it is, you've seen videos. You've seen movies, you've seen shows, you've seen people talk about it, your friends that talk about it, you see your friends, your mama, your brothers, your sisters, you've seen your uncles, auntie, everybody in the relationship and you've seen do's and don'ts. Do the don'ts are just that rule. That's rules and restrictions. That's the same thing. So I'm beginning to how people don't be understanding that. And if you're in a relationship, you're not supposed to be extra friendly with the with other, the opposite sex. That's that's not what's going on. No, that's like girls. Y'all be thinking like, oh, just because you're a girl, and if you do something with a girl, even if it's just y'all kiss, that your boyfriend is supposed to not get mad about this. No, what are you what are you talking about? You just disrespect me by doing something with somebody else, even though that's the same sex, but still, it's still a, the level of respect that y'all be failing to have. I'm the niggas that I fuck with, I'm a, I'm a always clear it up. He don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with him. We ain't never had that type of relationship. I'm not his type, he not my type. So, we just gonna kill that right there. We gonna kill that right there. And we gonna also kill the narrative that Tony put anybody down with anybody. Tony didn't put nobody down with nobody. Everybody is grown and everybody date who they want to date. Everybody is grown in the situation. Okay? Everybody is grown. Everybody date who they want to date. Date for real. Everybody be on the path they want to be on for real. That's it. Just because y'all is trying to fish, because y'all is trying to fish and find shit out between people, you get what I'm saying? Do not mean nothing. It's that way you start over, Tony. <laughs> Why did you fall out with Crystal? That's between me and Crystal. Y'all should already know. I'm not going, and I would never address anything unless I need to come on here and address some shit. Like that, I just felt like I had to address. Like, hell no, nah, I wasn't going to leave y'all up to no discussion with that. But as far as my personal shit, like, come on now, I'm not doing that with y'all. Like, for real. Like, I get y'all trying to figure that out. 
like this not that like, that, that's right. we're not gonna paint that narrative like oh that like no that's not that and that's it now why you ain't dropped the song you played i am gonna drop that song y'all i am gonna drop it i am i very much am other than that though there ain't nothing I like the fact that she didn't go into details about why her and Chris fell off. I like the fact that she didn't do that. That's 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 what real people are supposed to do. I wasn't saying what real friends are supposed to do, but we're hey, yeah, real friends are real people are supposed to do. If you and somebody fall out with somebody who's not y'all, if it's not y'all personally asking asking each other why do we fall out, nobody should know. Nobody should know, especially when if it, if it was a ball fall, a bad uh, fallout. I, I can see if you had a fallout where that just grew apart. Sometimes that happens. You're chasing a career, you're chasing a goal, you're chasing a life. They're chasing another life, so therefore, so, so eventually, you know, y'all stop talking, y'all stop hanging, so therefore, y'all end up just drifting off y'all own separate ways. That's a hey, that's some easy to explain. Yeah, we drifted apart, we didn't fall out, we just you know, we our life took us in in, in different ways. Okay, but if I had a bit a bad fallout over whatever it was, yeah, don't tell nobody because it might be bad. And then if the other person here is that, oh, you explain to somebody, they don't feel like, why are you discussing me to somebody that I'm not even talking to? Talk about though, everything else is like, don't piss. Everything else is pissed. Stop trying to make it a be about it. You trying to make it. We got old, it's life and fame and all that, like, uh-uh. And I'm going to kill that narrative now on the live in front of everybody. It's nothing like that. I don't got nothing to say bad about nobody, but that ain't that. Okay? I'm going to leave it at that. What? Like, what happened? Girl, nothing. I just want to I hate that. people that. I don't know. I hate people that eat ice. And it's like that's exactly what she's eating on, bro. That is so annoying. That is so annoying, bro. Why they try to make it look that weird or try to put that video with that to make it look weird? Like, I get y'all gotta make money, but this is like the second time I had to address that T-Page because the first time she posted something that was capped and I went under her post and told her that it was capped and she tried to she tried to say something to me and then she realized she was wrong and she was like, all right, my bad. This is the second time you don't try to do that. Like, it's not that. Like, girl, this ice is too good right now. I ain't lying. That is, that is annoying, bro. You can just hear it. Like, it just sounds like water. I don't pressure. even know what, what people posted for people to be saying anything. But I don't nobody posted because i didn't post nothing i don't post nothing nor did i come out and say nothing and then we'll continue to be there because i still ain't see nothing i don't try to address that because i seen that on tiktok and that's not that's what we're not gonna do is that oh this ice is so good well i'm about to oh my god oh my. It, God, that ice is so good. That's smacking that all of my so ear, good. bro. You're you like are a like princess. a princess. Nature's most beautiful flower. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> That's real cute. That ain't gonna get you dope pussy, bro. I love you. I love y'all too. Y'all yeah. gonna draw. I'm the sweetest dude ever, bro. I hope, I hope the tea room, whatever you is, posts my music too. How you posting all this? What else you got to say, Tony? Say nothing but about it, but the video was sent in and you know how that go. Yeah, I mean, if they get, they get evidence of something, they're going to post it. That's what these say. That's what these blogs are supposed to do, though. They get some type of, some type of video of something going on. Post. I get how that goes so real. T, I get how that go. But what I don't like, I don't know if this is you the same page, but I always have a problem with with check like a hundred percent fact check like about that y'all need to be doing a hundred percent fact checks about anything because how y'all put stuff together and put the narrative is gonna make a, a person look a certain way or look a look like it's something in a certain type of light you get what yeah. i'm saying because you posted a video with me and ed in the club from four years ago because that's when my my no three oh. years ago because that's when my ex first went to jail oh yeah yeah 
And that posting a video from three, four years ago, posting it now, making it seem like something's going on. Yeah, that's crazy. That's for sure crazy. Like you can see it three years ago, leave it alone. It's done. It's old. It's 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 over. But that's what I always say. Like, you know, when it comes to, to to like any any blog site, you gotta make sure that you're putting might possibly you gotta put you gotta put in certain words so, so therefore people ain't taking it as this is a guaranteed fact. Because if you put in something about somebody's personal life like this is a guaranteed fact. People are going to run with that narrative. You already know the internet. <laughs> the internet believes anything on the internet. You see something about uh, a unicorn at the LA Zoo right now. People are going to go up there and see. Is it really? Where's the unicorn, bro? Stop it. I remember that's when my ex first went to jail and we went to the club. First of all, you used that video from three years ago, and then to make it look like I don't know what we was in the club vibing to some music i've never had no type of relationship with that man it's pausing y'all it's pausing or oh, i'm good now am i okay now or it's still pausing i like her accent bro i ain't gonna lie i like her accent bro I love it's girls from the, from the from the south from the A from especially too. No, but I was just trying to say it ain't nothing too much because I already I know me in real life. I don't give a fuck about what no YouTube page got to say or what no people say. I've been talked about on the internet worse than this, but I was just saying like that's not true. Like that's not true. You know what? You right. So real, T got sent. I posted tweets that you and Chris have tweeted people. Say that y'all not cool. Or this is what I'm saying, was, though. It been was going around that then me and Crystal was say um, not cool and doing our love, whatever, our love one two, ago. whatever, whatever. But today is like y'all. Yeah, because that's what made it. That's what made it weird. If you posted tweets that her and Chris, that her and Crystal was having today, and then you posted that video, it makes it seem like that's from now. Cause that's how. I, that's how. That's how you line it up. I didn't see the video that, that she's talking about, but. As a person that, that does YouTube and a person that watches YouTube, that's how it goes. If you're putting, that's like, if me and you, if me and you are arguing and somebody brings up a video of you from three years ago and it's like, they say, if me and you, <laughs> it's like, this is a girl I'm talking to, right? Me and you, we're, 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 we're dating and then we're having, we're having arguments and then you go post, uh, or not you go post, but it's a video of you hanging out with my brother, my homie, my cousin, whatever, from five years ago. And then the, the T-Room posts that video along with our current uh, tweets or uh, Instagram posts, whatever. People who are on outside looking in are going to think, oh, this is why they're arguing. Like right now, Hallie and DG. If somebody wants to post a video of, of DG or Hallie doing something from like, Way for their relationship, but it's they're they're linking up with somebody. Somebody's going to say, "Oh, this is why they broke up. They broke up because she or he was doing this with this person." Tried to create this thing like, "Oh, guarantee people are going to say." Yeah, it just say, so <laughs> I always post and I don't know what y'all was trying to what narrative, like. but it gave. But from what it gave to people, it gave to people that I like that. Like I like this man, and me and him have something going on, and that's why. And it's just, it's that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. And I get y'all want to know why or what happened or get y'all little tease or whatever. And like I said, y'all already know me. When it comes to shit like this, I will never get on here and tell the internet some shit about a person. Or me and a person that I used to consider close, whatever problem that we had on the internet. Unless I, unless like it's some shit like this and I got to address it or whatever. But I just don't fuck with the narrative. Like I just don't fuck with the narrative or whatever. But you, you know, you say you was doing your job. I mean, to each his own. I guess it's my job to clear it up then. Because I'm a. Let's say it's been going around. I wouldn't post the tweets. And said, y'all besties, the whole world knows that now. And if the club or what? 
Now, if you in a club or all on your bestie, that has none true, but still, still the the video is old. But that does look weird. It's p people who are best friends. They're not supposed to be all on all on each other. Me and my best friend do not do that. I have a girl best friend. We do not do that. <laughs> We're not doing none of that, bro. And I, I, I can admit, I met her, trying to talk to her, and then, but our vibe was so cool and so like, it wasn't, it wasn't no flirtation. It wasn't no extra vibe. It was just like a cool, genuine vibe. So therefore, we just did, you know, we, we remained friends. She said, to, she said to my bed and everything. Never tried her. Never got up on her. Never felt nothing. Never nothing. <laughs> I sound crazy, but yes. That's that's how real best friends are supposed to do. Best friends, as mine, she said that she don't look at him like that. He's not hurt. We don't, how do you know that? He can tell you that, but can he 100% admit that and be honest about that? A lot of dudes are waiting for the opportunity. A real, real friend, even if you was, hey, they walked in in, in your room and you was right there. <laughs> Spread eagle, climb in. They should still say no. That's a real friend. Another dude who gonna take it. That's not a real friend. A real friend wouldn't t wouldn't take that uh that moment because you know for sure you're gonna ruin your friendship. Clear it up. Can you really look at us now? Well, she got a song called Look at Us. It's been going around that way, and I posted it to you. So if you're a club, uh... so real T, you just gonna keep trying to defend your actions or instead of trying to see where other people coming from or try to yeah try to make it seem right. I'm not. I did because if you was in my live earlier, I said that I'm not gonna go back and forth with the internet because if y'all took that video that type of way, because I be realizing that the internet is so sensitive, y'all take shit any type of way. So y'all right. was going to take that three-year video of me or anytime I'm chilling with Ed, just vibing on live, y'all try to take any narrative narrative and paint it y'all type of way. So I guess it's going to take for me to get on here and say, I never had no relationship with that boy. I never had no sexual relationship with that boy. I've never been intimate. I never kissed. I never wanted. I never felt the urge to. He never felt the urge to. I'm not his type. He not my type. That is never a thing. And that has never been a thing. And that never will be a thing. So that's when I said, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to just address that period. Me personally, it was going around or not that video was from three years ago so i don't see the sense of you trying to use that video to correlate with the fact that oh i, I don't like believe you, i just felt like you was just putting that in there well, she said, i'm make, glad i'm here so i can post it, it clear it up that again because you were so like real t page you gotta make she sure said, i don't believe you <laughs> that's what you did you just came up with assumptions <laughs> <laughs> Whatever part of that team is, boy, you funny as hell. <laughs> at least you keep it a buck. Because again, I got to say, you can't say. I mean, you can say that if he's if he said that and proved that to you. You can say that for, but like the way how you're saying it for a fact, or you know this, you're not him. You're not you're not him. So the saying you're not his type, you don't know that unless he's a hundred percent like, and then like. Not to compare y'all, but you and Chris will look exactly the same. Not exactly the same, but y'all look the same. Both pretty and dark skin. You a little you a little lighter, she's a little darker, but both two pretty dark skin females, in my in my opinion. Y'all both are pretty, so not that that doesn't necessarily mean that you are the type, but you don't know that unless you know that. As to why of certain tweets that you've seen and certain me and me and certain people aren't following each other because me and I know I ain't say nothing and I know damn well she ain't say nothing neither and um anybody else in the party about our situation so I already know that's what was going on. As her friend, make sure you like and subscribe. Catch you on the next video.